and welcome to the FTT video series. This video is on the intelligent device information, which most likely is a hidden asset to both you and your facility. Today there are many manufacturing challenges. In addition to global competition, there's also internal competition for project funding within your own company. There's aging facilities, limited resources, and a need to do more with less. The bottom line here is that we need to make sure that we're using the full capabilities of all of our intelligent assets. Here is a plant network example that shows a variety of intelligent field devices connected to a control or asset management systems using different protocols. Regardless of the field communication protocol, these devices contain information that can be a hidden asset to your operation. Typically, there are devices from many different suppliers and there are many different types of intelligent devices in your facility. The common element is that they are most likely all smart or intelligent devices. So, what do they know that you don't know? Let's use the automobile as an example of a system that uses and monitors intelligent devices. When the check engine light comes on, you get a warning of a problem, but you really don't know the nature or the severity of that problem until it's analyzed. Let's look at the process used by the automobile as an example of how to determine the result or the impact of the check engine light. First, the computer is checking all the sensors that's going on all the time. The computer detects a problem, check engine light is activated. Now, a mechanic without a good diagnostic tool either does not know what the problem is or just has to use his experience as to what the problem might be. On the other hand, a mechanic with a good diagnostic tool, like FDT enabled technology, can easily and quickly detect that the problem is very simple. And in this particular example, it is as easy as the fact that the gas cap is loose and indeed has created the check engine light situation. So FDT technology is a diagnostic tool that is used to better know, use, listen to, and maintain your intelligent measurement devices. Your installed intelligent devices include such a check engine light warning or alert system. Regardless of the size or age of your plant, you can look into your device to see if all is well or if there is a potential problem. The information includes both process and device diagnostics, and the information enables a shift from being reactive to proactive. Also, there are many cost-effective solutions on the market today to help you access this intelligent device information so you can start checking to see if you have any check engine lights on in your plant. What does this intelligent device information look like? The information falls into two categories. One, common and universal uh, attributes, and second, device specific attributes. In the case of common and universal attributes, these are alerts and device statuses that give you a quick idea as to whether or not there's a potential problem. Alerts such as a device malfunction or that the uh, loop current might be fixed, someone might have left it in that position by accident, or that the process variable is out of limit, or indeed that there was a cold start or a reset, indicating possibly a loss of power. In most cases, there are 30 to 40 data items that are available for your review to be able to determine whether there's a problem. And these data items are actually available by remote access. So checking all the diagnostics from the safety of a control room or an instrument shop now is as simple as clipping on to the 4 to 20 milliamp signal or, or the, the digital communication bus and be able to determine what the, the potential problem was at, that caused the alert. The second category of information is considered to be like device diagnostic information. It's specific to a particular product type. Here is a ex list of examples of different types of measurement devices you may find in your facility and the kind of information that they could give you. In a case of a magnetic flow meter, for example, it may give you an alert or an indication that there's empty pipe or 
that you have coded electrodes. In the case of a pH analyzer, it may give you a indication of a bad reference electrode, for example, or in the case of a vortex meter, uh, may indicate that the flow rate is too low to get an actual measurement. In any case, it's all information that can improve your plant reliability and hopefully avoid any kind of unscheduled shutdowns. The type of alert warning symbol has now been standardized by a group of users in, in Europe, uh, referred to no more, and they have published a guideline, which is the NE107, as indicated on your screen, which is a guideline on displays and alerts. This particular uh, set of guidelines standardizes the symbols for the operators to make it easy to interpret the, the meaning of the alert for both the operator and for the technicians. The information in your intelligent device may be a hidden asset if you are not putting that asset to work. Benefits include minimize downtime, increase plant reliability, improve plant performance, lower maintenance and operating cost. Put your intelligent device information to work for you and you will find that it is indeed a hidden asset. For more information, be sure to visit our website at www.ftgroup.org and be sure to sign up for our e-newsletter. There's no charge for the newsletter and it's full of application information, success stories, and other information about the FTT technology. Thank you for watching.